Good morning everyone. Look what we have coming on. Nice ripe cherry tomatoes. Beautiful. And our black ones are not ready yet. But I did see some down below or down the row further that I thought maybe were coming. I've got my uh, strawberries on drips here so I'm dodging water. Um, let me see. Where did I see that? Nope, they're not ready yet. I think I'm going to pick a few strawberries. Ugh, getting wet. One. And two. Let's go share with Haley. Look at them. Hey! Hi! Look what I picked for you. Let's share. Cheers. Cheers. We have a ton to do today. Mmm. Mm. Oh, so good. You know the ones you get from the store and they're like hollow inside? Mm -hmm. Those are good. Mm -hmm. So, we have a lot to do today. So Haley hasn't been here since Friday. Friday. Today's Monday and she can't believe... Oh, I can't believe you put that video of me on oh. singing <laughs> as if you were on... Like... So, she had no idea that I was... <laughs> videoing that until she watched it and I was going to try to get her reaction and I missed it oh my god so but it it's hard so funny I'm like I, I can't well, be mad at that but you can't <laughs> it's coming uh oh so like I was saying we have um stuff has really grown down there hasn't it yeah like, like the cucumbers crazy are, have like three flowers on them yeah and we've got cukes already started yeah it's awesome um we have our onions to plant today, our corn to plant today. We have um, clipping of our tomatoes because they're just growing like crazy. We have, oh, we have so much stuff to do. Now that the nice weather's here, everything has to be done. So, um, and we're sharing our greenhouses right now with snakes. Yeah. I grabbed my camera in number two, which we don't normally have snakes in there. And there were two snakes coiled up together and yeah so I went to grab my camera and they disappeared probably under the plastic for when we're trimming and clipping so anyhow we are going to head down to after we're done watering all of our greenhouses we're going to head down to number two and start uh, staking or number three sorry and start staking our um, tomatoes in our six inch pots which is really necessary right now and our cabbage and uh, cauliflower and broccoli, dill has to be planted, our celery over there. My, my, my. And here's some of our corn. Looking all right, but it's starting to stretch out for the light here. I had it in the shade when I put it out just to harden it off. It's hardened off now. And we are gonna get this planted and we're gonna try to plant it with our um, plugger. So let's see how that'll go. Oh, we're also gonna try to plant these uh, onions in with our plugger too. Let's see what the root system's like on this. Ooh, nice. That's good. And we're gonna give these a little bit of a trim before we plant them. Uh, these are the Elsa Craig and they're starting to build uh, bulb up really nicely. These are the uh, large sweet white onions. And uh, we want them to do as best as possible. So we are gonna trim them and then we'll show you, you can be, you can witness what we're witnessing with that plugger to see if it actually works with this size of plug. Oh, and here are um, our clones that we transplanted. They're growing like crazy as well. Let me see if we have a root on that. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. So they're ready to go into the ground anytime. Um, we have lots of them and we're gonna start taking clones off our big beefs. Um, beefsteak ones this uh, this week. We may start today depending on how much uh, we get done. And these tomato plants are growing like crazy. Like that one's almost as tall as me. It's great. Okay, so we are in three and we are going to show you how we stake our six inch cherry tomatoes and you can see how tall they are and staking them just helps them when they water they like to flop over um, when they're at the market the wind kind of tears them and it makes it easier just to keep them 
you know, not from breaking off. So we will show you how to do that. And here's our bucket of bamboo. And looky what we have! Snakeskin Snake from last year. So that's how big <laughs> they were. Ugh. That was the big monster. There's bigger ones this year. Yeah, so hopefully we get to see them. Okay, so we are going to show you how we stake our six inch tomatoes. And these are the bamboo we have, and you just stick them down. And you want to make sure they're at least a little bit taller than the plant. Because last year we had like piddly ones, and that was just a mess when they grew. So you don't want super long because they don't fit in your customers' cars. Um, and it's just easier to, for transportation purposes. So you put it in, kind of not right in the root ball, but in the dirt. And then we'll go around and string them all. There. And then as they grow, you keep stringing. And if you're not keeping them in the pot for super long, you don't have to do this part, but just watering and the wind does knock them down so you can break the whole plant off. So this just helps them stay sturdy. Yeah. And we haven't um, done our beef steaks yet because they're still fairly short. So we're going to leave them be, I'm sure in a couple days they'll have to be staked. But what was happening yesterday with these in the pots, they um, started to, when we were watering, they were starting to flop down. Yeah, like this. So they get floppy and uh, they need to be strung. So we'll carry on with this. So Patty's going to show you how she strings it. Usually we have a really fancy machine that's got a tape roll on it and you clip it kind of around the tomato and the post and then it staples it together. So it makes it really fast, but we can't find it. So this is what we're doing right now. And you just put your string around under the, not the very top branch, but so it's sturdy Under enough. one and above one so it doesn't slip. Yeah. And then we just cut this off just so it isn't so much of an eyesore. And another thing, we also don't sucker these because we can uh, demonstrate to the customers what to look for and they can do it themselves. And surprisingly enough, most customers do not know no. that you're supposed to sucker. So they love when, when we educate them. So always educate your customers. So, and you can see how much more sturdy that is. There, now they won't flop. And uh, also it saves space for our trailer when we pack for the market because there's only so much room in there. So if you had big bamboos, we'd only, yeah, it's hard. Yeah, and when your customers, a lot of people don't think of this. We learned that way too because when we were first starting doing this, customers would come to buy stuff and the bamboo was so tall they couldn't fit it in their small, small car, right? Yeah. And, uh, okay. So then they'd have to take it out and sometimes it would, you'd have to undo everything and yeah. then they just flop. So that's a quick tip. And so we will continue with the rest of these. <laughs> and Patty's styling today. I am. Oh, me too. My white legs. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, you're like two toned. I know. Okay. It's hot. Back to work. Today is 40 <laughs> degrees Celsius. Woo! So it's, what would that be? Don't ask I don't me. Know. I don't it's know. hot. But the air is even hot. It's like a hot breath that you can't get away from. Yeah. But it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. It's Better great. Than snow. Yes. And here are the cucumbers we clipped on Friday and how much they've grown. And the tendrils are now wrapping around the string, so you can see that. So the clip is all the way yeah. down there. That was, the, and there's the fruit. Look at that. Yeah. Now see what I mean? How it, how yeah. It, yeah, when you have you your clip, watch. your fruit inside your clip, your fruit will start. But that grew so big. Oh and look at all of them. It. And they all have flowers. Well, most of them. These ones down here. All these little ones. These are a different variety, eh? Yeah. Oh, watch the mud because it gets very slippery. We had a workout ah. yesterday. They're all flowering so nice. And look at our beef steaks. And the beef steaks. They're doing so well. These all have to be trimmed. Oh, and you can smell the lilacs yeah. coming from that bush. Mm. Um, so good. We're going to clone some of these today, but we have to get them flipped first. Like They've grown like crazy. Unbelievable. We got lots of work to do, Hale. Oh, God. Let's get at her. So, our cornfield is getting ready. Wayne is putting some fertilizer in our rows. And Shane is just finishing tilling with the tractor. And I am bringing our corn over. 
So Patty and I will show you how to use the plugger for our corn as well. And here's Shane hoeing uh, the garlic with our antique wheel hoe. Looks so nice. Garlic's doing excellent. Yeah. Good job. Oh, thanks. Are we doing two rows per? And we are going to start planting corn right here. Freshly tilled bed, and this is what Roman decides to do. Get out of there. Get. Out. Get. And Haley is uh, just stringing. We're going to use the string to make our rose nice and... <laughs> there she comes. We, we need somebody to follow us. Uh, sorry about the wind. We need a TV crew to follow us throughout the day because you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> okay, we we're going to... nothing yet. Ba -ba -ba baby! Okay, so we don't have our tripod again, so we're going to do our corn with the plugger, and we're just going to see how this works. These were the 50 cells, and it worked. So we'll just keep going. That's great. So let's see how long it takes us to plant a thousand of these. We'll be right back. All right, so we are done planting corn with our cedar. It worked okay. We had to um, get down and some, once in a while uh, straighten them up, but in the long run, it was way faster than and way easier than bending over to do them. But this variety that we grow is um, it's called super sweet sweet corn, and we did these. They're not all the same, obviously. Uh, between six and eight inches apart. And then our spacing, our rows, you want to keep them about a foot and a half, two feet apart. And that's it. Corn's done. It's 85 degrees out here. We're going to get a drink. And it only took an, an hour, hour and a half. half. I think I already said that. I don't know. I think I did. Okay. We're Ugh. dirty. We're dirty. Bare feet. Woo! So hot. Our dog has been... Roman, come here. He's been like Bye. running back and forth through here. Yeah. And <laughs> he's really he doesn't listen very well. But I think there's a bear or something back there because Maybe. he just tore off. Remember I said there was something mm -hmm. big? Now he's uh, patrolling the neighbor's yard. Oh my god, there's Don't do that. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> Look at the dirty face on Haley. The arms from the tomatoes. Anyhow, it's a super hot day. We're even bare feet in uh, our Number snake house. Four. Yeah. But that's okay. We can see the ground. So this is it. We've got an hour's work left to finish our eight hour day and then we are heading to the haunt until dark. That's fun. Mm -hmm. This is fun. It's just super hot. Yeah. Um, so like we said, we need a, a camera person to follow us. We've done so much today and we just haven't showed everything, which because we can't, right? So anyhow, we're going to get it uh, clipping these cucumbers up and... Uh, taking off all the growth points and let them grow. So till next time, bye.